What you've just heard there is a little sample of barbarism. This is the mutilation of children, and it should be prohibited by our law. Representative Mike Johnson is calling for a nationwide ban on gender transition surgeries for minors. His statement came during a House Judiciary Subcommittee hearing on the dangers of due process violations of gender-affirming care for children. Even a parent has no right to sexually transition a young child. Our American legal system recognizes the important public interest in protecting children from abuse and physical harm. Johnson explained general safety laws, such as wearing a seatbelt and minimum ages for driving, drinking alcohol, and smoking, exist to protect the public, despite their non-libertarian nature. The Louisiana Republican also spent time dismantling the American medical establishment's virtually unanimous support for child sex change procedures. The so-called gender-affirming care is anything but affirming and caring, and the language matters. This is adults deciding to permanently alter the bodies of children who do not have the capacity to make like life-altering decisions on their own. He then showed evidence doctors are performing the interventions while knowing almost nothing about the outcomes for these children. Those of us that do a fairly high volume of genital gender-affirming surgery, you know, we've maybe done a couple, a handful of pubertally suppressed adolescents as a field and no one's published on it yet. Um, OHSU is, we're just putting our first series together as we're kind of learning and figuring out what works. Johnson is even more alarmed by the attempt of the transgender community to exclude parents as much as possible from making decisions about the health of their own children. We saw this in my home state of Louisiana recently where Children's Hospital of New Orleans laughed in the face of a young girl's parents when they attempted to intervene as doctors sought to transition their daughter without their consent. 